Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to demonstrate how to create a PSSE case from scratch in Python. For this purpose, uh, we will consider a five bus system, which, consider, uh, which consists of few generators, buses, transmission lines, and load. So here you can see that we have four kind of data. One way to model these things uh, using Python is to create a CSV file for each of a different kind of equipment with the data you want. For instance, if you see here, we have created four CSV file. One CSV file for the bus, one CSV file for the generator, one CSV file for branch, and one CSV file for the load. And all the basic data which I need in my model is tabulated in these CSV files. So now what we are going to do is we are going to call these CSV files using Python into our case and populate our model with it. Once you have created your CSV file, the next, next thing you need to do is you need to create a basic uh, Python script. So now how you can create this Python script? Nobody knows all the APIs which are needed for creating any kind of thing you need. So either you go to individual API and look for each of those uh, APIs which are needed to model your bus, your generator, or there is an other easy way. What you can do is you can simply open your PSSE in GUI and record a Python. And in this Python, select all those uh, steps which you want to do while creating your PS, uh, Python file. So what we have done here in this file is that we opened PSSE and within PSSE, we, uh, we saved uh, the API for creating a new case, similarly a bus, a generator, a transmission line, and a load. So now what we are going to do is we are going to expand this code in order to create what we want. So this is just for one one element, but we are going to convert it into uh, be used for multiple elements. So now how we can do, uh, do it, let's do it together. So first thing you need to do is if you want uh, uh, to use a script which can be run from outside a PSSE, so you need to call your uh, PSSE first. So what we are going to do is we are going to use import PSSE path and PSSE path dot add underscore path, and I'm using version 33. Similarly, uh, what else we need is we need to give um, some save file name to it. So what will be the name of my save case let's call it so once we are done with this then the next thing we need to do is uh, we also have to open PSSE, so import PSSPY and then import PSSPY.PSSE initialize. So this way we will be able to open my PSSE and then I open my file and apart from that I need to use uh, one more thing uh, since I need to call my uh, CSV files here and use them so that's why I am using pandas as well so now let's first of all start calling all those CSV files which we have created so what we are going to do is we are going to use First, let's start with the bus data. So it will be equal to bd dot 
read underscore csv and the name of my file is bus dot So in the same way, uh, call all your uh, CSV files which you require. So I have here four CSV files created. Uh, that were, one was for bus, generator, branch and load. And I have uh, read them in different data frames. Next thing we need to do is we need to open the case. So for opening the case, we are going to keep the same uh, API which we have with the same. So I'm going to call it a five bus system and it's a test case. So I will keep it as it is. And now, first of all, since we need to add load data, now my load data is available in bus DF. And in my bus DF, I have three columns. One is for bus number. The other one is for the base KV and the third one is for the code. So what I'm going to do is let's call this data frame one by one. So what I'm going to do for X in range length of bus tier. So let's iterate through this bus data. And during this iteration, I need to give my bus number, right? So my data frame bus df dot location. So what is the location? So starting from the first row or the first uh, 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 bus number, and what I want to give here is my bus number. This is what I have for this. So this way include similarly, this is my bus code. So here I am going to use again bus df put lock the same way here it is going to be uh, the this is the code part so let's make it code and in the same way let's copy this So now in this way, uh, what I have done is I have created my bus data frame. I have taken all the data which I require in my bus data frame and used it as a uh, used it where I needed it. In the same way, let's complete it for the machine data, the load data and the branch data. Read the loops for all the equipment. So here we see uh, we have completed the loop for the bus, the generator, the load and the branch. At the end, what we want to do is we want to save this case so that we can open it in PSSE and see uh, what we have done. So we can include PSSPY dot save and save case because we have already provided the name. Everything seems okay except this underscore i and underscore f because we need to define this otherwise we can end up with an error. So what we can do is here we can define them as underscore i underscore i 
will be equal to get default and similarly underscore f will be equal to get default so i have my command line open uh, i have opened my ipython so let's try to run this code and see what kind of errors we get uh, I mean, it is completely normal to get the errors when you're writing your new code. So this is how you learn. I mean, you see what are the problems and you try to resolve those problems. So first of all, let's change my directory to the location uh, where I have all these files. So I'll simply go to this location. And then what we can do is exec file. Let's execute the code. So my code name is scratchpill.py and let's run to see what kind of error we end up into it seems i've written import with pieces uh, py.int in fact it is a command not a uh, file so let's go back here yep here if you see i have written so let's just try so the error was due to an extra bracket here, uh, which uh, now we have cleared. So now let's rerun the case and see uh, what do we get. So, yep. so see, uh, everything has been added. And if we want to see whether the case has been created or not, we can simply go here and see we have a case. So if you want to see the case, just open this case in PSSC and see what is happening in this case.